What's up, what's up everybody? Just in time for Avengers Endgame, it's time for How to Ruin Lightning Emperors. I was just waiting. I was waiting for the Avengers Endgame. It's not that I... It's not that I procrastinated, no. It's that I was... The joke is because I call him Thanos, right? It's... No one got that joke? Cool. Moving on. Uh, today we're going to talk about How to Ruin the Lightning Emperors. Yes, it is super late because I could have done this months ago. Um... But also, I didn't want to do it right away when they first came out, because I'm like, I want to see how people are building them. I want to see what successful builds are. And then people kind of uh, start gravitating sort towards certain builds more than others. So I wanted to kind of wait a little bit. I waited a little bit too long, but uh, anyway, that's that's that. So basically, these uh, Lightning Embers, we're going to talk... I'm going to try to talk quickly about them, uh, the rune builds, and then I'm going to go into showing examples of the different ones. Um, so they're divided into two categories, uh, attack type, and uh, HP type. And I think more of them need to gravitate towards like, the fire one is the most attack type, uh, should be built most for DPS, excuse me, and then uh, and then the wind one next should be mostly attack type and then maybe a little bit more HP. Uh, this guy needs to be kind of a hybrid tanky bruiser. Uh, and then these ones are all just tank, 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 tank. These two are the HP types. Right, and then these ones are, look at his base HP is so low, damn. Um, but this one needs to be ruined the most, uh, actually his base HP is so low, but his base attack is good. But he, but he really needs to be ruined. It would be better if he had the higher base attack and lower base HP. But anyway, this one can be the squishiest, kind of. You don't want to make him super squishy, but basically the idea is uh, people are using him for R5. The most common uh, the most common builds are Rage Will, uh, and then also people have him on like... Some people have him on like Blade, Will, and Shield, so that he stacks. Uh, so these attack types stack based on two different factors. One, when, uh, when they get buffs, right? Um, number of granted beneficial effects when you're granted with a beneficial effect. Um, three, knowledge when an enemy or ally gets defeated. So he, both he needs to stack beneficial effects, all of all all of these three. I know you're like, hey, hair type. None of us have him. Uh, one person watching has him. Um, we can kill things to stack, or we can uh, grant beneficial effects on ourselves to stack. So you need to grant a lot of beneficial effects on him. Um, same thing with Odin. So you want things that buff. Uh, and then on these ones, we have this. Uh, Granted beneficial effects when you or an enemy is granted with a beneficial effect. So if the enemy is granted with a lot of beneficial effects, you stack based on that as well, which is uh, which is a different approach, different conditions, not the same conditions. The attack types uh, stack for one way, the HP types stack for another way. Um, but basically, this guy's uh, attack or damage attack, not very fast. You don't want him to go very fast. This is mainly for uh, moving towards the latter end of your team, and he's not really for speed teams. You can use him in a cleave-based uh, Guild War team as well, because he's got this Guild Content Leader skill. Great Guild Content Leader skill. I did a video, I'll probably link it in the description, if you want to check out a cleave team with a Shield Will cleave team uh, with Bailiger in it. I was using... You can use different things. You can use, like, Isabel in this, and you can use... Uh, I mean, there's so many different... Uh, you don't need to use Isabel, but there's so many different combinations that you can use with Bailiger. Um, and then if he if something kills one thing, he stacks and enough to get activate, like, five five stacks. So, he's got that potential there. But generally for R5... God, Bagel, he's just Bagel, start talking again. Um, generally for R5, attack or damage attack. He needs to be speed tuned to go after your other units. I did a whole video, I'll link it in the description as well if you want to take a look at the exact, but the turn order needs to be exact. He does need, I would still try to get like plus 10,000 HP on him, not with HP on slot six. He needs to be all DPS. I'm just saying HP in subs, try to grind uh, wherever you can so that he survives till the last to make your runs more successful. Uh, but attack or damage attack, Rage Will attack or damage attack, or Fatal Will attack or damage attack is optimal. Um, with basically just attack, crit rate, crit damage, uh, subs. And then a little bit of tankiness subs, uh, if you can get them, are great. Because again, um, if he survives till the last and the enemies around him, uh, the, the allies around him die, like at the end of the run, it was like, uh oh, we're gonna fail this run. 
allies around him die, and he dies last, he can still do a bunch of damage. Um, so that's for R5. Same basic premise with uh, Guild Wars. I think, you know those um, those Labyrinth stages? Where there's like a... But it's, it's kind of like a... Not a time trial. Actually, it is kind of like a time trial. What is it called? Is it called time trial? I don't remember what it, exactly it's called. But there's like just waves of enemies. There's like 20 waves of enemies. Um, this guy is phenomenal in those stages uh, as well. Just an FYI. Um, and then I'll leave some links to different uh, guild content cleave things. Uh, next is Odin. Now Odin, I he needs more speed than the uh, than Bailiger because Bailiger you want to move last in the team for the guild content. Bailiger is basically for guild war, guild siege, uh, cleave teams. Uh, R5 mostly R5 at this point. Everyone's building it for R5 for speed runs, thirty second runs, um, and for labyrinth. Uh, Odin can be used in a lot of RTA. I've seen a lot of RTA with Odin. I've seen Odin in arena offense. Um, he basically just does ignore uh, big single target ignore defense and also self revives like Samoth and like Perna, which is kind of cool. And then he strips the buff. They all strip the buffs though. Um, well, steal, steal, sorry, steal the buffs, steal the buffs. Um, but generally, he should be. It's, uh, it's good to have him still tanky. He should be around 200 speed, possibly more, as long as he's speed tuned to go correctly in your team. And nice combos would be him with Bastet, things like that. Uh, this way Bastet comes in and buffs. I think people, are people using uh, Kabezanuf, the water horse, with him as well? Because remember, he gains knowledge by the number of granted beneficial effects when you're granted with a beneficial effect. Um, generally people do either Shield, Will, Blade I've seen people do, I've seen people do Rage, Will, Fatal, Will, uh, Attack or Damage Attack with Speed and Subs, or Speed or Damage Attack if, like let's say for example Slot 2, if you have Speed or Damage Attack, if the Slot 2 has a lot of Attack, Power, Crit Rate, Crit Damage, um, uh, etc, etc, I'd ruin him kind of like a, uh, kind of like a Fast Lucian, to be honest, uh, going with Bastet, or, I mean, I know a lot of people don't have Bastet. Bastet, Megan, um, what else? Probably Kabezanuf too. Uh, Guild War Leader Skill as well. But I would have him going along the, uh, along the faster line. Not super fast, like crazy though, but attack or damage attack, just value subs overall. Crit rate, crit damage, speed, try to get him to 200 speed. Um, and then also HP and. Defense resistance doesn't really matter as much as the other ones. Mostly, uh, mostly damage dealer, but fast. And less, he, he, he needs less bruisery stats, though. Um, but we'll see. I'll show you guys some examples. Uh, next, this guy, he needs to be more of a tanky bruiser. He should be more along the lines of attack, crit damage, HP, with speed subs, crit rate subs, crit damage subs. Um... He needs a lot of tankiness, though. Like, 200 speed is good, um, but fairly tanky. Fairly, fairly, fairly tanky. Uh, I'll show you some of the builds for him as well, but he needs to be, like, kind of a hybrid. He needs to be able to do some damage when it's time to do damage, but also be able to take enough hits, kind of like the Monkey Kings, kind of like, uh, kind of like Chow as well, like Chow. A lot of people have him built as a tanky bruiser, like Chow should be able to take some hits, survive long, when, where his, uh, his passive stacks, or, or not, not his passive, his justice stacks, um, so he survives longer and does more damage. Uh, kind of like that with hair type, because you need to survive long enough to use Endless Desire several times. Um, to get the maximum output out of it, so that when you start hitting things, they're like, oh, they just fall over. Um, so if he's too squishy, uh, and if he doesn't get enough turns, he needs to be like 200 speed, um, and he needs to be tanky, uh, but also be able to do damage. He, he's, he's got a high rune requirements to build a good hair tight, though, because um, you need basically everything. You need a little bit of everything, uh, and I'll show you as far as that's concerned. Uh, later, but then, but yeah, tanky, uh, tanky bruiser instead of just like more fast DPS or like slow, big, big, big DPS, right? So this is slow, big, big, big DPS. This is fast DPS. Uh, this is tanky bruiser, and this is uh, well, not super fast DPS, but like faster DPS. Uh, and then these guys, Bulwark. Uh, so Bulwark, a lot of people like to do uh, shield will revenge on him, very, very fast. Uh, the basic idea for Bulwark is to have him in a 1-2 combination with a few th different things. 
Um, some people I see like to use Bastet, Velijul, Bulwark, Molong, and X. Whereas like there's two units that buff and also increase attack age. Bulwark comes in, he's he stacks himself. He forbidden Galders, he sucks up some enemy HP, and then Molong. Did I mention Molong? Yeah, Bastet, Velijul, Bulwark, Molong. Uh, some people like to use uh, Ikaris in there, some people like to use um, I've seen people use, uh, well, Daphnis you could also use in there, um, but just need to finish something off after Bulwark does his, uh, HP-based damage, which Daphnis does HP-based damage too, Molong does HP-based damage too, um, or if you're fighting someone that's trying to use a Triana or something like that, you can do, like, a Diana, you can do, uh, monkey, uh, like a Water Monkey, you can do a Garrow, some people do Garrow, this way they have, uh, the turn one with the with the Veligual, and then the Garrow can also do some damage after Bulwark does. Um, but it's basically there to get turn one and two shot something, two shot something with some with some bruisers, because Bulwark uh, is a bruiser. He could do some uh, do some damage, but he's also tanky. So a lot of people like to do uh, speed HP HP or speed defense HP. I've seen a decent amount on. Um, I've seen a lot of Revenge, Will, and uh, Shield. Shield, Revenge, Will on Bulwark uh, on him. But he's usually used in RTA in a two-shot combo. Uh, Guild War Leader Skill, uh, HP is really good too. It's really, really crazy. I don't really see too many Bulwarks in defense though for Guild Wars. Um, but yeah, it's really good. Really good. Guild content HP is really good, really good, really good. Uh, Geldnir. What do I say about Geldnir? You can't say something nice. He does need a little bit of a buff, though. Um, he's not a very exciting unit to use. I know some people have Geldnir, and they're like, Yes, Vega, please preach! I don't know where to use him. I think I have some ideas for where to use him, kind of. I mean, he's a defense unit. He's a unit for, like, arena defense to, like, stall. And he's a unit for, like, Guild War, Guild Siege defense to like kind of stall like maybe guild siege defense but still i feel like this can kind of be exploited people who were talking about this uh, eye of pioneer can be exploited but i see him just mostly built like speed hp hp and people are like he needs a buff 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 like he's one of the weaker um less exciting to use light dark nat vibes um his guild, uh, his guild leader skill is really crazy. I think there's potentially, this is just, th this is just me theory crafting uh, on him. But he's supposed to be, he's supposed to be fast and tanky for the most part. Uh, that's the whole premise behind him. And then, if an ally is attacked by an enemy, uses one of your knowledge to heal the ally by 35% of the damage received. Uh, but you can kind of exploit this to do non-lethal damage to uh, use his stacks and then kill something after that, which is kind of a bummer but people were saying people were talking about uh, the the possibility of exploiting it um you don't really see too much of this guy because i think the people that use him are like eh, and they don't even bother building him they're like i would rather put my energy into something else until he gets a buff i could definitely see this guy getting a buff down i mean he's prime candidate for a buff in the future comp to us is always random so we don't even know if he's actually gonna would get a buff but uh, g phenomenal this is the best uh, guild war leader skill in the game uh, it's just his skills don't aren't very exciting to use along with that. He's kind of like he's like a light dark nat five arena kind of is his stall unit. Um, but I think there could be a potential combination with him and the fire paladin on Swift. I think there could be something there, like maybe that and Triana. But then again, if you have that, it's kind of like oh, where's the damage output? Like okay, it's tanky, it's fast and tanky and annoying, but like there's no kill threat there, so... I was just trying to theorycraft, like, what could I see him being used with? Um, I really haven't seen him being used with him too much, though. Uh, I guess you could use him, like, him and Orion and, uh, big burst damage, like a Perna or something like that, just based on his leader skill alone, like, leader skill, he's got a steal beneficial effect, uh, and then Orion's got a strip as well, so you could use those two and then, like, Perna to kill something, or another big single target burst damage to kill something as well. Uh, could be, could be an option. I mean, I just really see him mostly in defense or kill war, kill siege, defense. Um, I saw some of the people that high level that, uh, were trying to use him in RTA, 
and they were they eventually just gave up using him. They're like, he's okay in like maybe one out of every fifteen matches, but uh, but yeah. Uh, anyway, let's go see a let's go take a look at some high level uh, builds for some of these units. All right, Bailiger number one. Uh, let's take a look. This is a fairly straightforward Bailiger. This should be what you what you try to attain in Bailiger. Uh, crit rate, it might seem a little bit on the lower side at first, but this is for R5. This is for R5 with the, the Chloe and Amesity kind of team. Uh, and Amesity is going to buff the crit rate anyway, so it's going to be 95%. So the crit rate is perfectly fine at that. Um, it's got a lot of attack power, it's got a lot of crit damage, it does not have a lot of speed on purpose. So you want it to be speed tuned on purpose. This is going to go right uh, before the Katarina. So this is Katarina, both rune fairly similar. Uh, if you took, take a look at the speed, 136 on the Katarina uh, and 144 on the Bailiger. So this is nice speed tuning there. Uh, it is attack, crit damage, attack on Rage Will. This is a fairly standard Bailiger. This is probably what you should try to shoot for on Bailiger. Okay, so here's another Bailiger. Uh, pretty similar. 70% uh, crit rate, which means with the buff it's going to be 100%. Uh, lots of attack power, lots of crit damage. This one's a little bit on the squishier side. I like him to be a little bit uh, tankier than this. Doesn't have to be crazy tanky, but I still like him to be uh, tankier than this. Um, his defense is not actually that bad. The tankiness is in the defense, but a little bit more HP would be preferred. Not too much speed, 153 speed. Actually, let's take a look at um, uh, the Katarina as well. So this is 136 Katarina, uh, because a lot of times they're comboing it with this Katarina. Uh, and then 153, he should be always fast in the Katarina. Uh, remember also, Katarina's base speed could cause it to, like, where you think you're like, oh, Bailiger is one speed fast in the Katarina. Why is Katarina moving first? Because the towers uh, will buff based on the base speed. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, your your arena towers. Not the towers that are for arena, but you, the, the arena, the towers that you use with the arena points. You know what I mean. Uh, any, anyway, uh, Rage Will, attack, crit damage, attack. This is just going to give you the maximum uh, everything. So you need... For R5, it's best to have Will on them to make sure it doesn't do anything uh, silly, silly no-no, poopy times. Um, that's what we're going to call it. Uh, you'll see, I'm sure, the Katarina's on Will as well. So, Rage Will. Uh, this just does the max amount of damage. Um, you can... That's 260 crit, uh, crit damage on that Katarina is nice. But both of these are... Uh, this is going to be over 100 when it's... I mean, it's going to be 100 when it's uh, crit buffed. And this is going to be 100 when it's crit buffed as well. So, uh, speed tuning very important when you're doing your uh, R5s. Here's another Bailiger, uh, fairly similar to the other ones. Low speed, a lot of attack power, a lot of crit damage, Rage Will again. So we see that there is definitely a clear and concise way of building that. Also, 139 uh, speed, and this is going to be 130 speed. 139, 130, so the speed synced to go Bailiger first, Katarina second. I know some people might be thinking like, oh, well, what if I want to use Bailiger in a different way? Uh, that's not synced for R5. I think you can... Most people you're going to see are going to have them built like 95% plus are going to have them built for uh, Katarina Bailiger. Thundercat R5. Um, so you're going to mostly see them built that way with low speed. If you want to build yours differently, you're going to have to kind of go off the reservation, I, I guess you could say. Um, not that you can't do it, just that... Like, everyone wants to have those 30-second R5 teams. So that's their main priority. And they're less concerned about using them in Guild Wars and Guild Siege. And if they do, they're going to just use them with whatever runes they have for the R5s, because that's kind of the priority there. So this is actually my Bailiger, this one. Uh, I didn't even realize he was my rep, but uh, fairly similar. I don't know why he's my rep. Uh, attack, crit damage, attack, rage will. Fairly similar to the other ones. Nothing is 130. It's actually the same exact speed as one of the other ones. But it's nothing too crazy. Um, this is my Katarina. Um, over here we have Fatal. Oh, this must be... Maybe I changed some stuff on her. Um, but yeah. It would be better to have her on Rage. But uh, but this is the Katarina Bailiger. This is 134 speed Katarina. And this is 139 speed Bailiger. And you can see uh, 79 crit rate, 72 crit rate. So with the crit rate uh, buff, it's going to be more than enough. Okay, here we go for Mr. Odin. Mr. Odin with the Guardian Wings. And you see he's noticeably higher speed than the um, 
than the uh, Baylinger because he is for RTA. So you want him to be fast. He can't be super slow, otherwise he's not going to get any turns. He's not going to nuke anything. He's not going to do any damage. And I'm sure they might be, holy crap, they spent a lot of money on Light Dark Scrolls. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you might be uh, using him with um, something like possibly the Bastet, something like possibly the Veligul. I'm sure he might be uh, using them uh, somewhere in a team with those units. Uh, let's take a look. He's speed, crit damage, attack, swift will. He doesn't have a lot of... I was going to say he doesn't have a lot of speed on the other... If this is 23 and this is 42 and a swift set, that's going to be the only things he really has a lot of speed on. This has no speed on this rune at all. Okay. But he's just going for this, the overall stats. I was going to say that's a lot of... It's a lot of, but it, 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 but it makes sense. Like you want him to be faster. He doesn't need to be on swift with this. If you can get, you can put him on attack or damage attack on swift and have still the speed in subs. Um, so you can actually get this, these, the same speed that he has on this. You can actually get this on a swift set attack or damage attack and just speed in subs. Cause if you think about it, you can get like 20 speed in each sub, um, uh, times six runes. That's a hundred and that's already 120. I mean, that's more than, you, more than enough. So. Okay, brief intermission. I just had to show you guys this. This is the definition of pay to win. Is this enough? Enough CRS? You guys, you guys want to get jealous? You, 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 you're time stamping this right now, aren't you? I know you are. Jesus. Oh my God. Here we have a good example of an Odin. Uh, he's got 120. Actually, he's a little on the slower side. I usually see Odin's faster, but he is. Uh, so this is 127, and this is actually yeah. So this is actually speed tuned to go with the Mo Long. They're a little on the slower side, I usually see them faster, but they are actually speed tuned to go together in a 1-2 combo. Uh, and shield will, shield, win, shield will Endure, sometimes I see Shield Will in, uh, Revenge, that seems to be the most common one, but uh, Speed, HP, HP. This is actually a high level player, I, that's why I was surprised to see them uh, a, little bit on the, uh, a little bit on the slower side. So they have some 20 speed subs, but it is just, uh, it is, they are making sure that they are speed synced to go in a one-two combination. Okay, so here's more like what I was expecting from the uh, the other Bulwark. So this is a little bit faster, huh? 249 speed. Uh, so we see Shield Will, uh, Speed HP HP. So I know a lot of pe people might be asking like, why not Violent Will? Because um, you can Violent and you can possibly, the thing is with the Violent, a lot of, also a lot of times um, he's used with immunity, like, a lot of times people would use him with Veligil, with, with Wusa, with Amelia, because they already naturally stack, uh, they naturally stack him. So a lot of times that's why you don't really see him um, used with Violent, because he doesn't have to like Violent out of a stun or something, um, if he's already being used with immunity. Um, and he always has access to this Forbidden Galder, always. Um, so it's more important that he kind of stacks the beginning of the match. The, the Shield Will will allow him to stack at the beginning of the match. Uh, and then the revenge will also allow him to uh, potentially steal a beneficial effect and stack himself up more. So if you if you can use your um, your revenge runes and your shield runes, that a lot of people have really good shield runes, and they're like, what do I use this for? Because I ha uh, everything else needs to be like violent will. Uh, this gives you a nice opportunity to use shield runes. Um, and potentially have really, really good runes lying around and stick them on something uh, to get the maximum value out of it. So here's another Odin. Uh, it's actually a pretty high level player, so I was expecting... Wait, 69. On purpose, right? Uh, so I was expecting a little bit more crit damage and a little bit more speed on it, to be honest. I like the HP, I like the attack power, um, but I was expecting more speed and crit rate. Uh, attack, crit damage, attack. Actually, look at the... Th like, this is a good rune, right? This is a good rune as well. So where are we missing the speed from, really? Oh, you know what? There's no speed on this rune at all. So, good stats, but uh, I was just expecting a little bit faster from Odin. But here's just another example of a, a high-level player, nice, uh, nice Odin build. So this Odin has less attack power, uh, like almost 200 speed. This is, a, this is another uh, speed crit damage HP, so this is more of a tanky bruiser style Odin, uh, which for the most part we've seen uh, nuke Odins before, but this one is like, hey, I want to stick around for a while. <laughs> Hey, I want to stick around for what? Maybe have some cookies, a cup of tea, uh, hang around, um, not do that much damage. But uh, I think this might be like for a 
like a Molong Odin combination where he's not going to like nuke by himself, but he's still going to do some decent damage. And if he takes some hits, he's still tanky enough. He's got the shield. He's got the revenge. He's got... This is kind, this is kind of like a Odin that is like, maybe I want to be a Bulwark. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. You know, wh one of those. But tanky bruiser. Uh, more, more along the fast tanky bruiser. This is also kind of like how I would say more along the lines of the... Um, the Dark Lightning Emperor kind of rune build, where he's like a little bit more on the tanky side and less focused on just being like straight attack power. Okay, here's a nice bulwark. Uh, let's check out the runes. Will, Shield, Revenge. This is this is kind of like what you want to have your bulwark look like. Uh, speed, HP, Defense. Yes, Speed, HP, because he's got a thousand defense. So Speed, HP, Defense. You had to have defense somewhere, right? Um, speed, HP, Defense. Will, Shield, Revenge. Nice all-around stats. So I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to show a Geldnir. I wasn't able to find a player that I thought had a good enough Geldnir. I know there's someone on Japan server um, that has a really good Geldnir. I couldn't find them though. Um, that was using theirs. But, uh, but I do know someone that has possibly one of the best, uh, best Dark Lightning Emperors. So this is the optimal runes for the Dark Lightning Emperor. Uh, fast, good crit rate, crit damage, uh, tanky, and a little bit of attack power as well. So he is on violent will, speed, crit damage, HP, and just beautiful runes overall. Look at the gorgeous runes on there. I love these runes. Uh, so this is if you have, if you have her tight, uh, crickets, nobody had, okay, three people watching. Three people watching. If you have him, this is kind of where you want to go with him. You want him to be uh, pretty tanky, but also like just overall stats. He's just, so, he needs everything, uh, in my opinion. He needs to be tanky enough to survive to keep using this. Uh, mostly, mostly tankiness though. Mostly tankiness. Mostly fast and tankiness. Uh, because you want to make sure that you survive long enough to use this Endless Desire as much as possible. So... Rune requirements, I feel like, to make a really great uh, Hurtite are pretty high, but that's a, that's a nice looking one. But again, if, if you stick these runes on anyone, they'll look really beautiful, right? So anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry that it took me so long to make this uh, How to Rune Lightning Emperor video, but uh, hopefully it's a good resource for you guys. Uh, anyway, that's it for this one. Have fun watching Avengers Endgame. I'm jealous because I'm not going to be able to see it for like forever. Um, I'll see it eventually one day. But anyway, guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you as always in the next one.